Well, I think, first of all, we start everything here with uh, safety and quality. And this was something we discovered as a supplier quality issue. And uh, as soon as we discovered that, we uh, brought it to the surface and we're uh, dealing with that expeditiously. Uh, we've been coordinating with the FAA over the weekend. Uh, this is a, a process that's well defined and, and well understood in our engineering discipline. And uh, we're all over it with our customers. And we're out in the field with our airline customers as well to coordinate this. You've got the 737 MAX already grounded, so those wing slats they can inspect and, and repair yep. when needed there. But with the NG, those models are flying right now. And this sort of is that headline risk that's out there. Somebody will hear this, they'll hear 737, and they'll say, here we go again, something else is wrong. And are you worried that it makes people uneasy about flying the 737? Well, certainly it's something that uh, we regret the impact that it's had to our customers. And anytime there's news on the 737, it's something that goes to the top of our list. We're paying close attention to it. Uh, this, this particular issue around the uh, slat tracks is a well understood one and one that will work our way through quickly. But it is something that we're going to stay very coordinated with our customers. We know it's important and we want to minimize the disruption to our customers. Let's shift to the 737 MAX. You're in the process of preparing for a certification flight yeah. and then filing your application for recertification. This is something that we've been told or conditioned by various people that, yeah. hey, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. You've already finished yeah. the software. Is there a delay in filing for this application for recertification? We are following a very disciplined process here. Everything, again, starts with safety and quality. We know that lives depend on the work that we're doing, so safety is of paramount importance here. Uh, we're working through this in a very disciplined fashion with the FAA. We have completed the software development work. Uh, we're now in the process of uh, answering questions that the FAA has. That includes some sessions in our uh, simulators this week. We hope to schedule the certification flight very soon. And then after that, a decision from the FAA to return to flight. Is the FAA pushing back? Are they saying to you, nope, you're not ready yet? Well, the FAA is working very closely with us, but also being very disciplined and very deep in their analysis. And I think that's a great thing. I think it's good for all of us to be very disciplined in this approach to make sure that we're doing everything we can to ensure safety. And I'm very confident that when this process is completed and the MAX is back up in the air, that it'll be one of the safest airplanes ever to fly. All of this brings up the question about whether or not Boeing and the FAA, because of the certification process, you work too closely together. And at the end of the day, this is the problem. And that you have people who are saying, wait a second, how do you know that the information you're getting from Boeing is correct and is accurate? And it has people saying, wait a second, are these planes going to be safe when they're recertified if they already had these problems in the past? Yeah. Well, we're very confident in the overall process. You know, over the last 20 years, aviation has been the safest form of transportation around the world, and the accident rate has been reduced by 95% because of the processes that the FAA has put in place. So the idea that we work closely together to tap deep technical expertise while ensuring the independent review process, I think the process is very effective. That said, we're learning as we go through this current situation. Uh, both the FAA and, and my own uh, board committee at Boeing are taking a look at our certification processes, and if there are any improvements we can make, we will make those.